everyone, we are back. Um, we just finished up our thir third drive for the day. Um, because of an unexpected detour that Nav did not catch, I wasn't able to um, uh, do the same exact route. The car did not, unfortunately, spoilers, did not, unfortunately, make it. Uh, because it didn't reroute automatically, so I had to take over for a disengagement. Alright, just focusing a little bit closer to make sure they didn't get too close to the curb here. Um, so we are going through, this is Biltmore Park. Um, we are going through here and then we're going to route it back through. Almost wanted to go on the left side of the road there. It did not, but it almost did. We're going to see if it fixes the, the turn lanes up at this intersection up ahead. Last time it messed up. Uh, so we're going to see if this time it's... Uh, so he doesn't mess up. It didn't need that turn on. It needs to go straight. And it, it did it. Last time it got in the left turn lane. And I think I even made it get over in the right turn lane. And it still failed. So this time it finally got in the correct turn lane. I think actually. Well that guy didn't have his turn signal on. So technically it was his fault. Um. Uh, it was his right away if he was turning, but um, because it didn't have his turn signal on, that um, I thought he was going straight. So technically, and then it was his fault that I went out in front of him. The car actually decided to go first. That was good. They're gonna slow for the speed bump. It is slowing, but I think it actually slowed maybe for those people crossing the road first. Did not slow for that speed bump at all until. Okay. Not sure what that was about. Uh, it went on the wrong side of the road. It probably would have corrected seeing that car right there. But obviously, that it's never done that, and it's clearly the wrong side of the road. I believe we had had one zero disengagement drive on this route before. Um, but it, this is not going to be one of those cases. It made some weird mistake. I'm not, I'm not even sure what would have caused that. This is good that I can review back through the footage and try and figure out like well, what might have caused that to happen You know, there's a lot of things that could have caused it Okay, <laughs> that was my fault. That's not a disengagement I rerouted um, I thought I was going to do it. Previous updates would just keep on going the route that it had until it rerouted. And clearly this messed up. Um, so yeah, that was my fault for rerouting it midway through. So it saw that speed though and slowed down actually appropriately. I'm trying to reroute us without getting a... Um, <laughs> we really, really need waypoints. This is... This is beyond frustrating at this point. I thought we were gonna get it for this update, but nope. We got a small point release. Um, interesting. Decided last minute to get on the right side of the road. So it seems to be that's improving. Uh, it does need to be on the left side of the road up here though. And as long as there's no one behind me, I'm gonna go ahead and Disengage so I can reroute us. Okay, everyone, this is beyond frustrating. I'm gonna go ahead and stop what you're technically supposed to do and reroute it properly. All right, so that's I just I can't wait until we have waypoints. I am uh, honestly tired of having like now that like you're gonna get kicked out or if you get a strike. And that me looking at the map so long, trying to find the route I want to go, because it doesn't have waypoints, I don't want to risk being kicked out. 
Like, I'm personally, I think I'm totally comfortable looking at the screen for all of two seconds to go reroute this, but I'm not going to risk it. Uh, I know it, it's just, it's debatably unfair, if you will, um, for people who, like, actually drive safe, like, I can, like, actually, I look at the, like, we have a big screen, you can, I can be right here, my head's in the way of the camera, but I can see my peripheral vision, can see the road, and if there is any car coming, I automatically put my finger here and look back at the road, and I'm safe. Like, I'm always looking at the road, regardless as if I'm, I'm here, my peripheral vision's always on the road. And I don't think the camera up here really can distinguish that. Uh, it just looks, are oh, your eyes looking at the screen? Yeah, okay, we're just gonna assume you're not paying attention to the road. Braked very heavily for that car right there. Well, not heavily, but it did break. More than I obviously would have braked. It should have slowed sooner for this stop traffic here. So it started up a little bit late coming to this light. Otherwise, it's actually fairly aggressive going into the turn. That was good. See if it gets in the turn lane correctly. It has missed it the last couple times. Start slowing down already. Okay, so it made it this time. Um, I would have personally gone through the light right there. Um, we're gonna actually go ahead and tell it's okay. Like it keeps on trying to break all the way. Like I'm, like look. I don't know why it decides it has to stop before it goes all the way through the intersection. That's such a weird behavior. It's like, I've questioned how humans drive before, and like, certainly humans don't do that. And then sure enough, you see people turning from the wrong lane, you see all sorts of stupid behaviors that the car simulates. So apparently humans must also stop in the middle of intersections for some reason. It might get that from, like, um, of course, when there's traffic in the intersection. Um, not sure why I was so, he so hesitant right there with that car. When there's traffic in the intersection, obviously, you are stopping. Sometimes when there's a lot of traffic, you're getting really hung up by other cars. And um, we are... That's going to be a disengagement. Because I can easily... You know, like, the line's... The line's there, like you can see the line. Um, I'm not sure why I was staying on the left side of the road, it was just driving over top of the line. So right here we're gonna stop. I like that it restarts the route automatically as soon as you're done with the previous one. Look at there, ha! <laughs> Another Tesla, I didn't expect that. It's good to go. Like. Totally okay. Come on, I, I pressed it because that that's ridiculous to let it uh, hesitate that long. Okay, so I think the only reason it's going slow right here is because of these cars. It really does need to go this slow for this type of speed bump. Otherwise, it'll bottom out. Like ten mile an hour is for sure the max I would ever want my car going over that speed hump. Of course we can up it, the speed limit is 25 right here now. See, I don't know why it's turning on the blinker here. Yeah, it'd be funny if that Model 3 in front of us was on beta, but more than likely it also would have turned its blinker on right there for no reason. I don't believe I saw it, um, but I'm sure it's just driving itself, or they are driving the Tesla. Of course, they're taking a right here and going straight. 
So the speed limit's wrong on the map data. It says it's a 25 mile an hour speed limit sign. It goes up to 35 right there. And so I have to immediately slow it back down. Got a person with a dog in the road. How much room is my car going to give that person? Not as much as it should probably have given. This intersection again to deal with. Last time we went through it failed. The first two times we did it, it, it succeeded. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. It's trying to go around this car. I'm gonna have to hold the wheel to make sure it doesn't do that. But it's on. So this must be the fourth time we've done this route. And so the first two times it succeeded this weird, really weird intersection. It's going, it's going into the intersection and back to the left. Um, and I was really surprised the first two times that it succeeded. The third time, it did not. Uh, I just didn't make it. I think there's just more traffic, some something going on. I didn't like it. This is the first time we've had a car in front of us, though, I believe, at this intersection. Okay, let's see how she goes. Doing the same turn this white car is doing. I'm having to press the accelerator to get it to go through. But it made it again. It would have made it is what a lot of hesitancy, I think, if I let it do its own thing. This cross traffic should go ahead and go. Okay, I'm having to press it through it. It really needs to start go when it blinking yellows. It needs to have a high enough confidence level that it just needs to go ahead and go. Um, that was not a disengagement. That was because I need to reroute us. It's doing much better at detecting cross traffic and then not going for them. Much better, everyone. It's hard to describe in video unless you've actually experienced the different versions. But you just have to trust me when I say it's detecting much more minute details on cross traffic with the B pillar. The It will kind of nudge forward a little bit and it sees a car and stops. Kind of like a human. It's really human-like. Like I'll see a car and I'll stop again. Um, finally didn't stop at that stop sign, so that's fixed. Um, ish. It did. It did break some, uh, for sure. But um, yeah, the the un, the blind right and left turns are definitely improving. Uh, they have to work a lot because I still think there is a camera placement issue for like about 0.1 percent of cases. The camera placement will have issues. And I think they're just going to solve that by literally just rerouting a different way. Um, it kind of rolled through the light right there. This did well. We're starting to get some sunlight out, so we're starting to get shadows on the road again. So we're going to see how much that really affects us in terms of phantom braking and in terms of weird behavior. That was my fault on the disengagement. I was just holding the wheel very tightly because I don't like how close it gets to the curb. It's very narrow right there. And now it probably has several inches of room and just from my point of view, I would rather ride on the yellow line. Like right there, it had several inches of room, but I just rather ride on the yellow, yellow line just to make sure in case it swerves or anything or I, I need to have some extra room then I'm not gonna hit the curb. I wish it would do that. So maybe the disengagement there will train it not to do that. Um, it actually does need to be 
this is the correct turn lane right here. It doesn't need to be in the left one. This is, I think, the first time we've ever gotten a green light here. And this is improved. Very smooth going through that, relatively speaking, compared to previous updates. It still could be smoother. It had a couple jerkiness. But um, other, otherwise, very good. It's good to go right here. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Well, actually, yeah, it is. There's the cars in the left lane. And it was stopping for the light anyway. Let's see if it stays in the correct lane here. It needs to stay in this lane all the way through to Asheville. No, it should not get in that lane. I'll show you up ahead why if you if you haven't seen this route before. I'm glad it went through that yellow light right there. That's what I would do. It should not jam on the brake if it doesn't need to. See where this red truck is up ahead? That is a left only turn lane. So those two cars should be turning left as well. I don't know why this person's going so slow. So I corrected it once, but it did make it all the way through. Okay, when you get in the left lane here, kind of did a quick swerve to get do it. Is it gonna go through this light correctly? I'm having to press the accelerator so I don't get rear-ended. That's wrong. Person crossing the road. It needs to come to a smooth stop instead of just jamming on the brakes when someone's crossing the road like that. It's really jarring. When you're in a city like Asheville, people just walk in the road all the time for no freaking reason. Are they gonna hope they're gonna let me go? This Jeep is watching me. It should go a little bit slower, which is, I, I slowed it down to 20 purposely. It should go slower in this. Overall, I, I don't know. Um, obviously it wasn't zero disengagement. It's two disengagements, I believe, uh, if my memory serves me correct. But um, we're going to go ahead and put in park here and get my camera ready. But um, I, I, think it was, I think it was good. There was definitely several improvements with this version over a previous version but um you know um it, it's in the right direction no pun intended um uh, it seemed like it had a downgrade big downgrade and then it's kind of coming back again uh i think every version going forward they, they probably had to rewrite something they didn't really say talk about that and um yeah they had it's just it's relearning oh it's this person person's wanting to get to leave probably okay anyways guys i appreciate you watching i hope to see you on the next video and that one will be our blind corner test so get get ready for that thanks for watching guys